refreshed of purpose, I return. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Esports Money, ZSM, Mac10, whatever you want to call me, and welcome to my guide to jungling Medusa in patch 7.06. So, we just got this new patch, and I thought it'd be perfect to go back and start recreating, uh, not all of my older guides, because some of them still work, and this one still works quite well, but because Medusa's so much better now, uh, because Mask of Madness is so much better now, I think it would be a good first guide to start with, whatever. So, anyway, the main idea here is we're going to be doing the guide similar to the way we did before, except we're going to have a much greater emphasis on stacking. I find that if I hit all of my bounty runes and all of my stacks, I get my Mask of Madness between 6... like 6.10 and 6.20, I think somewhere between there is my, my optimum time. This time, I only miss two stacks and two bounty runes, and it ends up putting me back to 7.30. And if you remember uh, from my original guide back in patch 7.04, I got my Mask of Madness at around 6 minutes and 27 seconds, and the difference in that patch was that creeps only spawn or creeps only spawned every other minute or every odd minute compared to every uh, every single minute, well, which is what they do now. However, now all jungle creeps give you 80% of the golden experience that they gave you before. So there's more money on the map overall, but you have to make those stacks and you have to make those kills. My best timing is a good 10, 20 seconds better than my best timing in the previous patch. However, this run here, which is, it's good, it's not bad, two small, two to three small mistakes, and it puts you back significantly. So I would say the skill ceiling for the jungle is higher for a hero like Medusa, and overall, the pressure is on. It's There's a, there's a greater level of risk to reward because you need to hit all the stacks, you need to keep killing creeps. If you're jungling Medusa every single minute mark, you should be trying to make a stack. And the problem is if you get a satyr camp, those ranged satyrs make it very difficult for you to stack. But you gotta try anyway because, I mean, you're in the jungle now, you've committed to it. So, as far as skill build goes, I'm gonna get three points in my Q by level five, and then whether or not I get a fourth point in Q by level seven is optional. Typically speak for the purpose of this guide, I got two points in my W, it helped out slightly, but typically speaking, I will put a single point in my E to, uh, you know, get get the value point in case someone tries to kill me, because I don't, at level one and two, your W is not that great. Something I want to point out is what I just did in running over to the hard camp to stack. I knew that there was a full hard camp there, and I had the choice of attempting to stack the medium camp again or stacking that hard camp, so I gave up on attacking that medium camp for a minute and went over and stacked the hard camp so that I would have two hard camps instead of an additional medium camp, because the hard camp is worth more money and experience in almost every circumstance. Uh, that being said, I do mess up this stack when it comes time to stack the camp for a triple stack, which is... it's possible to do, it's not too difficult, but you need to you need to time it perfectly. You need to attack them about 53, 54 seconds. And if you have any trolls or satyrs, it is way more difficult than it is typically, which is why sometimes you'll see me actually focus on hitting the small satyrs when I'm fighting those camps. Another slight misstep that I made here was I waited until I had about 150 gold over my quarterstaff price before picking it up for my Mask of Madness. So... Don't do that. You'll kill things significantly faster. 10 attack speed and 10 damage is pretty huge. 10 damage basically makes it so you don't have your split shot on while you're attacking creeps. Um, it, ba it basically fixes, at least in the early game, it fixes that attack penalty. Um, so one more sort of major overarching tip, and I've talked about this from the previous guide, is that when you're only attacking one creep, like, in, in a situation where you've killed every creep in a camp except for one, turn off your split shot and get the bonus da get get your base damage back to kill that creep. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to get a stack off here. Again, it is very difficult to stack with the small saviors, but if you time it correctly, you can go ahead and get uh, a stack even with those pesky ranged creeps. Stacking ranged units, stacking ranged units, especially when you have a camp that has both melee and ranged, can be particularly tedious, so it does require a decent bit of practice. And I practiced this for several hours before I started recording it, and then I recorded it about five times, and this was the best run that I had. I'm pretty tired after spending half a day working on this guide. But it should convey the point that 
what you do is basically the same except you have to hit your stacks and every single minute you have to be stacking and if you do it perfectly this is actually a more efficient guide than the previous version from 7.04 but if you're imperfect in any way shape or form if you make if you miss one bounty rune or you miss one stack then you're as good as the old guide and if you miss anything more than that then you're worse than my previous guide so that's pretty much it. I have my Mask of Madness now. You can actually take Ancients if you so desire at this point. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace out. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Esports Monies, ESM, MAC10, whatever you want to call me, and thank you for watching that video. If you liked that content, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more content from me, hit the subscribe button. There's actually a little bell icon next to the subscribe button, and if you hit that button, then whenever you have YouTube open and I go online or post a video or really do anything, you'll get a little update from me. If you want to support the channel further, there are Amazon affiliate links in the video description below for pretty much every single piece of hardware in my computer. Additionally, there's also an Amazon referral link for Amazon Prime, so whenever you use that to get an Amazon Prime membership, you support the channel at no additional cost to you. So thank you very much guys, and have a wonderful day.